The bubbling volcanic activity lies just beneath the surface. Yellowstone contains a diverse range of geysers, hot springs, and gurgling mud pots. It's a geothermal wonderland, unlike any other place on Earth. While entertaining, caution is in order, especially if you venture away from Old Faithful to some of the lesser known geothermal sites. The reason for not having you get any closer to this is the fact you can see it's a regular boiling spring but look at the edges of it. It's thin, it might only be two inches thick, and it's, uh, and it's more than unstable, it will break off. There are no signs that warn people to stay back from the edge of the geyser pools or mud pots. If you're ever coming here with kids, you better have them on a leash or you'll hold them by the hand. And actually, my father would not let me into Yellowstone Park until I was 12. Duly warned, we were introduced to the mud volcanoes of Yellowstone. This is one of several mud volcanoes that you're going to see, and you can hear periodic episodes. It'll get real active for a few minutes, and then it'll kind of fade back. Then it'll burst out a great big chunk of mud because you can see the mud goes all the way up to the rim over there, the wet mud. And you've got a lot of steam, and you could hear it before you even arrived. We can also smell it. The pots emit a rotten egg smell because sulfuric acid is generated. This acid dissolves the rock, forming silica and clay. Once mixed with water, it forms the bubbling mud pot. While dangerous, these curious features were some of the most memorable we encountered in the park. You fell down there, you're dead. You went fast. <laughs> There's much to see in Yellowstone. It offers an almost endless supply of natural wonders and scenic beauty. But this will have to be the subject of another program.